Hey y'all. Welcome to Shannon's Way. I am Shannon. I'm on my way to work. Running a few minutes behind. Just came from McDonald's. And they better have gotten my food right. It better taste good. If not, I'm bringing this back and I'm not going. Um, anyway, I just wanted to come and speak to you guys really quickly about some things that's been going on on the internet. Um, I'm going to do it real fast so I can just do it, get off this phone, and get to work. So, news has come out about Whit uh, Wendy Williams saying that she now has dementia, which is really sad because who wants to have like that? She's only 59 years old. They're saying that it may have come from the abuse of alcohol or a bad head injury. Some people are speculating that when she had that fall on her show that it was actually a stroke. I did even hear a source say that when she had the stroke, Kevin wanted to call her then husband wanted to call the ambulance to the show and they didn't even want him to do that. They wanted her to still continue shooting. So I feel like she did hit her head when she fell. So maybe that could also be the reason and it just was never treated. Or it could really be the alcohol. A lot of people saying, oh, this is her karma. And like, how is it her karma? karma? Because she's talking about people on the internet people will do that every day literally every day it doesn't matter if it's good news or bad news like people speak about people on the internet every day people have been speaking about people long before she even got on the internet so that's just silly to say that that's the reason that she has this because if that was the case then what about the listeners and you would be just as guilty. Oh, Lord, this car. I don't know what this car is doing. Like, you'll be just as guilty, too, and you'll also um, get it as well. That doesn't make any sense. So people really need to stop saying that. It's real ignorant. Uh, she's going through something. It looks like uh, the people that she has around her, they may not be really good for her. Her, her niece said that... Um, Basically, these people don't know her. Like, they're just taking all her money, and I do believe that. And for me, like I've always said, like, Wendy started spiraling during the pandemic. Um, once her, you know, and Kevin got divorced, and he had that baby, and then her mother, her mother also died, which nobody knew about that. And I feel like her mother dying definitely put her, off, like, over the edge, and... Her niece also confirmed that, like, her niece said it was too much for her at one at one time. Like, her son left to go to college, husband got divorced from him, and then he had a baby, and then her mother died. Like, she said that she never grieved, and I can believe that, because she was really, really close to her mother. And when she announced it on her show, it was like, oh, wow. Like, I felt like she should have took some time off, so that just confirms my thoughts from Denise um I don't know why they're putting her personal information out if she has dementia and she's not in the right state of mind then what makes what gives them the right to put her information out if anything the information should have came from her son who I guess doesn't have any contact with her um apparently Wendy can only call them they can't call her but if she has dementia then she's gonna forget about them so she's not gonna call them I mean, that's how I feel. That's just common logic to me. But it is what it is. Hopefully, this care team that she has around her is, is going to actually treat her mental health the way they're supposed to treat it. And I don't know if this type of dementia that she has, if it is something that can get better depending on maybe some other findings but it's the same thing that Bruce Willis has is uh, what they're saying so let's move on to Kelly Rowland so everybody knows that Kelly 
all walked off the Today Show, I believe it was. Um, and with good reason. Like, I support her. Like, people are trying to make it seem like, oh, she's a diva. No, she's not a diva. She's sick and tired of you guys asking her questions about Beyonce and playing in her face. Like, if she wanted a bigger dressing room, give her a bigger dressing room. She's been there plenty of times. But Kelly Rowland can actually really sing her own lyrics, unlike J-Lo. I love J-Lo, but come on. For a long time, we thought she was singing, and it was actually Ashanti. And they didn't give Ashanti any credit. But Kelly's actually doing her own thing. She's acting, and she's good at it. She's good at performing she's good at singing so don't play in her face for j-lo okay but anyway uh recently she also had an interview with big tigger and i do like tigger from the basement that's where i first um came encounter with him in his show but tigger i know he was doing his job but i feel like he definitely should have known better like don't go asking her questions about Beyonce. And I feel like if you're going to do it, at least let her promote what she's going, um, what she's coming there to promote. And then I would say, hey, are you doing new music, Kelly? Are we going to get new music from you? If she says no, then be like, okay, well, are we going to see a final good, uh, like a Goodwill tour from all five of uh, Destiny Child's members with the four original members and Michelle. And I do think they're owed that because it was stripped away from them. So I do think they are really owed to go on tour and perform as the original four along with Michelle. Because they all get along. They're all friends. Um, yeah. That's my feeling. And also when she. And I'm going to watch Mia Copa. So I don't know what everybody's trying to say. Like oh they're trying to make it seem like her walking out. Now nobody's going to watch Mia Copa. I'm watching it tonight. On Netflix. I'll be watching it. Today after work. And then she had an interview with some other guy. He kept asking her something about Beyonce, Beyonce. And she's like, ask her, ask her. That's the best question, ask her. And as a matter of fact, if I was Kelly, I would let them know, like tell them when I come out there, do not ask me any questions about Beyonce at all. If they want to see me, they want to book me, do not ask me any questions about Beyonce. This is not about Beyonce. And that will be in my contract. And if they can't oblige, then there's no show or no interview. But I love how she was like, ask her. Sorry, my alarm came on. I'm running a few minutes late. Um, anyway, I love how she was like, ask her. And anyways, we are here to speak about what I'm doing. The movie for Mia Coppola. Good job, Kelly. And they do the same thing to Michelle. Michelle needs to also put her foot down as well. Because it's rude it's, and it's unprofessional and it's disrespectful. They are actual real people outside of Beyonce. And last story is about... Um, I don't know where they're from. I just kind of read it quick on the internet this morning. Uh... These two parents are now being charged because a 10 and a 12 year old murdered a three year old, unalived a three year old. They left the 10 year old and the 12 year old and the three year old in the house alone by themselves while they went to go gambling at the casino, y'all. And Apparently, the 12-year-old beat the crap out the three-year-old because she had bruises and scratches on her body from the physical assault of him hitting her. They said she 
died due to a, like a blunt force. Um, so he hit her in the head with something. Now they, I even read that they said that this 12 year old has a history of violence. Like, dude, he's 12 years old. His mom should have, instead of her taking her behind out in the street to gamble, she should have been trying to get him some therapy, some help to figure out why is he so violent? Why is he doing this to certain kids? Now, I don't know if the 10 and the 12 year, was re 12 year old was related or the three and the 10 year old was related. However, anyway, sources are saying that the ladies who, the three year old mother, the lady of the three year old and I guess maybe the 10 year old, they were already complaining to her about the 12 year old bothering them, which she ignored. She didn't take them out the house, just left them in there to go to the casino. So yes, her and the sister or friend or whatever they are, they both do deserve to be charged. Now the 10 year old's going to jail and so is the 12 year old. It's, it's ridiculous. That mother should have got him help. Now it's too late. So, um, yeah, that's that. I'm about to pull into work. Um, hope you guys have a nice morning and I'll see y'all later.